Think back to when you were younger. All those years ago, your childhood days, when you enjoyed life. You tried out so, so many things when you were younger simply because it just looked interesting, it looked fun. When you were a kid, you saw some other kid who was doing karate. So you I tell your parents, I want to do karate, you go do it. Then that changes to tennis, to boxing, to swimming, to chess. It changes all the time. When you were younger, you tried so many, so many things out simply because it just looked fun. Maybe, maybe you even had a dream where you wanted to become a professional chess player or where you wanted to become a professional swimming athlete or you wanted to become a professional martial artist, tennis player, guitarist, pianist. Maybe you even had a dream, something that you had passion for, something you really enjoyed out of life. But things are different now. Fast forward a couple years, you're not a kid anymore. Things have changed. You don't have the motivation nor energy to do the things that you used to enjoy because of one big reason. You don't enjoy anymore. You don't enjoy life anymore. You've lost your passion. Here are things that I did that actually allowed me and helped me simply just enjoy life again. I'm not a therapist. I don't have a medical degree. I'm just telling you from guy to guy things that I did that managed to help me from my own experiences. Whether you want to listen to this and whether you want this to help you or not, that's ultimately down to you. There's one thing I want us to understand first of all before we give you the solution. And that is the modern world. You see our dopamine, our dopamine receptors in our brain are so overstimulated. You see, there is so much in this modern world that is overstimulating our dopamine receptors. There is so much. There's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, social media, short form content that's frying our attention span. It's considered weird if you don't drink or do drugs or vape or smoke. If you just simply want to enjoy your alone time in nature, that's considered weird nowadays. That it's more normal to look at our phones than to simply interact with someone else. Just because it's slightly awkward. That we don't know how to deal with social interaction. This is what is considered normal. Getting so bad to the point that our dopamine receptors have been overstimulated to the point of them being fried. That they simply just don't work anymore. To the point what they used to be like leading on to the problem of inconsistent motivation spikes. Maybe this is something that you have been seriously dealing with recently, where you have that one moment of huge spikes of motivation, and then you're trying to get everything done, and then after a week, you feel like you've just woken up and all that motivation's gone. And then you'll go through a cycle of a long period of unmotivated, unenergetic living where you feel lost even. You'll go through these cycles of high motivation and then low motivation, but what you've come to realize is that the low motivation periods tend to last a lot longer than the periods where you are motivated, to the point where you just simply don't feel anything, to the point where you don't enjoy life anymore. You've lost your passion for the things that you used to enjoy so much when you were a younger kid during your childhood days. Maybe childhood wasn't so great. Maybe you had some childhood trauma, but I guarantee you that there was something, something during your childhood that resonates with you. Something that you love, whether it be with your parents, whether it be something you went to pursue off as your own, there is something that is resonating with you. Something that you used to enjoy out of life. I wanna give you the solution after understanding this. We need a dopamine detox. If your brain has gotten to the point where it's literally fried, to fix this, you need to reset your brain and rebuild it up so you can enjoy the things that you once did. Now, a dopamine detox might be something that you have heard across the internet. But if you haven't, the basic principle of what a dopamine detox is, is basically a detox of dopamine, taking a big step back from cheap dopamine. It is known as the hyper-focus period. It's one week where you're just super hyper-focused, where you cut out 
all of the bad habits, the cheap sources of dopamine, the things that are frying your dopamine receptors in your mind. If our minds are so overstimulated, we need to take a big step back. Change your environment if you need to. Maybe your room is where you simply lose a lot of time, where you are so distracted, where you allow all this overstimulation to happen. So maybe change your environment. Maybe live in the guest bedroom for the next week. Or maybe just move all the stuff from your room that's overstimulating your mind, that's a distraction, and put it in the guest room, put it somewhere else. We need to reset our brains so we can rebuild it so where we can find our passion again, so where we can feel motivated again, so that we can enjoy the things that we used to in life. So for the next week, change your environment if you need to, but just simply take a big step back from all the things that are overstimulating your dopamine receptors. Cut out all the bad habits and go through a period of just literally hyper-focused. Now, after this, after you've done the hard work, the grueling work, where you've gone on a dopamine detox and you've reset your mind, you've hard reset it, we don't want you just rebuilding the bad habits you just spent so hard resetting because you're just gonna fry your mind again. I want you to build your perfect day. You can plan this out, your perfect day during the week of your dopamine detox, but I want you to plan your perfect day, your perfect day and that perfect life, that dream life you want, what would be the perfect day? Literally grab a piece of paper, write down from morning to when you go to bed, what would be your perfect day? It could be something like get up, meditate, gratitude journal, go for a walk outside, come back inside, have coffee, eat breakfast, go to work, after work, go to the gym, come back, work on my passion, that thing I want to do and pursue in my life, my purpose, done, read at night, go to bed, it could be anything, whatever it is your perfect dream life you want to have, plan out your perfect day and simply live it. After a hard reset in your brain, you just did the difficult work, you've just done the hard work, so you all you need to do is literally build up your brain for success. Doing all of this so you can actually start to enjoy life again, so you can actually start to enjoy the things you used to do. Hopefully this helped you out. And hopefully things have been good. I hope you've been alright. And I'd be very appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop in the corner here. Because maybe this video can help you out too. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Alright, come here. Self-improvement